Hey everyone, my name's Tom from WPWithTom.com and today I'm going to show you a WordPress animation plugin that we'll use to animate our menu. So if we take a look at our menu here, we'll see that there's no animation if we refresh it. And this is just a dummy site that I made real quick to test this out and show you this plugin. So there's no animation when we refresh it, nothing goes on there. So let's go back here and we're going to add a new plugin to give it some animation. And I'll click Add New. And this plugin is called Animate It. So if we type in Animate It, it should come up first in the results. And this is it, Animate It, and has five star rating basically with 20,000 plus installs so let's install it now it's obviously a good plugin and we'll activate it and now to change the menu section here we'll actually have to go into appearance and menus we'll just make sure these settings are right and we'll go to where it says screen options here at the top and you want to make sure that CSS classes is checked and that's definitely required to be able to have this easily added feature here. Now if we want to we can go to where it says home and we'll click on that and since the CSS classes option is here we can easily add the code in once we get it. Now to get the code we're going to have to go to this site here and I'll link to this in the description and I'm going to click down here and if we get to this stage we'll actually want to click this button to see what it does and you can see it in action and that will do this motion here now from what I found is sometimes my sites don't load as quickly as I'd like so I do think it's good to do a little like a one second delay and then I also think that the duration actually looks the best when it's around I'll say two and a half seconds or something like that now you can change it for the scroll click and hover I'm going to just leave those blank and I'll actually choose a different option this time so you can see something else there's a ton of different options here so let's just do we'll do um, bounce in from the right and we'll just click animate you can see that action there now that might look a little bit over the top for what you're going for I kinda like this ta-da one here to just give it a little shake or you can do actually do shake rubber band you can see there's a lot of different options here so if you want to let's just go with this one pulse here and I'm just going to down, go down here and I'll click generate and this will give me the code you can just copy and paste it or control C here and I'll X that and now I'll go back in here and let's just add it right here we'll just paste it in here next I'm going to go down to about for this page here and I'll just choose a different one let's go with I'll just do something else that's going to be quite different looking than the pulse the swing if we animate it we can see what it looks like there and generate it and we will control C and we'll add it back here to the about page and now for the contact one let's just do one that slides in and I will go with bounce in from the right so we can see that's an entrance and there's an exit section as well so let's go with that one and I will generate it as well control C again go back here and I'll add it into the CSS classes for contact and you can see right here the codes actually pretty simple and you can change it like one would mean that it has a delay of 0.5 seconds two means one second this is goes by half seconds also for the duration of how long it's going to last for so if you don't want it two and a half seconds you want it three you would make this number six so I hope that helps now let's just save it and we're going to take a look at what it looks like on the actual site when we go back here and we do refresh this. So we're going to look for these animations to come into play here in the menu. And there we go. There's some animation in there. You guys can play around with this and make it better for what you want it to look like. Maybe a little bit more animation would be good with the home here. Or maybe make it last like another second or so, like six or seven as far as the actual duration goes would look a little bit better in this area right here and I actually have it set to six on my own website and I use this on my own website for this plugin 
So definitely just check it out. Try it for yourself if you're interested in doing that. I will also point out that if you want to make edits within the page itself, well, just go to the uh, home page here and I'll click edit. And if we scroll down here, and let's just say we want to edit this um, random testimonial right here. So we'll click it and we'll go in here and we'll scroll down. And now if you go into this area, you'll see that you actually have this animated option within the editor itself. So that's something that will also come into play if you want to edit it within the actual site itself. So I hope this was helpful, everyone. Please definitely feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have, and I'll try to get back to you. And thanks for viewing.